Welcome back to the Directing Design YouTube channel. This is part two of our two part series. Previously in part one, we looked at brainstorming ideas in ChatGPT for our YouTube video, and then we use Magic Light to create an animation. Now in part two, we're gonna look at how to do some simple editing techniques in Canva Pro to then launch our video on YouTube. Let's get started. So if we hop over to Canva Pro, and you'll see there's many options for types of projects. I'm going to choose a video. And then from here, I will choose the YouTube video from the presets under videos. This is going to give me the exact formatting and size for a regular YouTube video, not a short. Then Canva opens up a blank uh, new video it calls scenes pages. So this is a new page. I always start off a video with some sort of a dynamic intro. So I'm gonna to go to um, elements and video, see all. And then I'm gonna search for intro or YouTube intro. This is gonna give me a lot of different options that I can use. So then scroll through these until you find something that you like. You can either click on it and it will add it to the new page, or you can drag and drop it. I like to drag and drop because the drag and drop option gives you more options in that if I drag it directly to the center of the new page, it will occupy the space that I can see or if I drag it to the left corner, it will fill the entire page. Okay, that looks great for now. We might change it later. So I did decide to change my intro video. It's really easy to do. Simply select a different one, drag and drop it to the top left corner and it will snap in place. Then at some point while you're using Canva, you're probably gonna to want to use your own videos, images and audio. You can go to the upload section and upload whatever file type that you want. You can also create uh, a folder within projects and inside that folder you can upload whatever files you want. So in this case I'm going to upload some of my video files all at once. So if I go into the folder and select everything, I can select it all, say open and it will upload multiple files. You may want to add other resources to your movie, including footage that you recorded of yourself speaking or somebody else. In a similar fashion, you can drag and drop it to a new page and it will snap to the left corner filling the page. You can also drag it anywhere in the timeline to create a new page. Let's also look at adding a logo or other resources. In this case, I will add my company logo. I'm going to resize it and I'm going to look at the animation options by clicking on animate. Remember that it can animate on entering the page or scene or on exit or both. There's various options you can play around with. I always like to add my animations at the end of all of my editing. It's much more efficient. Now let's look at adding titles and text to a movie. Everything that you add to your movie is on a separate layer and can be moved around independently. There's lots of options for titles, pre-formatted titles. In this case, I'm going to keep it pretty simple and outline in a list the things that my movie is about. We can then look at alignment font color and place it according to where we want it on the page. It might take a little while to get it in exactly the right placement. You can play with the letter spacing and the line spacing also. I really like the effects section. You can add drop shadows, um, different types of shadows to make the text really stand out for some sort of a relief behind the text. In this case, I think that the text is going to look better on the left and the logo on the right. 
Also, you'll find that because these elements are separate, they can animate completely separately too. Good luck. Looking and back over our video, the video with Brandon, our protagonist, and his story. We can add captions in Canva to any section of the video that has audio. So in this case, I'm on that part of the scene and I'm going to click on captions. It says that I can select various parts of my uh, video to add captions. I want, to, I want to add captions to Brandon's Day MP4, which is the video that I created in Magic Light. I'm going to uncheck captions for intro one and just simply click generate captions. So once our captions are generated, we can go back through and we can edit them just like editing any title or text. So I can click on them, I can expand the box in which the titles can show and then I can change the font size, either increase or decrease it. I'm gonna play around with a couple of different font sizes, making it larger. And then we can also play around with the effects. So in this case, it has like a, a background relief and I'm changing the spread and the transparency And then that should be good. It'll be for the captions throughout the movie. Brandon, deskbound, feels lost, and it's late. He's grappling with AI and his marketing. He scrolls through confusing analytics on a computer, trying to find answers, trying to find direction. Outsourcing is best. AI, sales, marketing, no clue. He's feeling more confident about his vision. A plan is in place. Brandon can see improvements and a forward momentum. He can focus on what he does best now. Monthly call with directing design. Money well spent. Brandon has so much to think about. He has new ideas to discuss with his team. Brandon's growth strategy is working. He now has a trusted resource through directing design. So Canva is quite a sophisticated piece of software and at this point there's a lot more that we could do but I want to just touch on some more of the basics before we export this video. So let's look at how we're going to add an outro, uh, edit our sound levels and transitions between each of our pages or scenes. So add, adding an outro is just like adding the intro that we looked at. If you scroll to the end and click on the plus symbol to add a new page, then from there you can go and search elements, videos, and I'm going to look at all videos. And then there's some magic recommendations. And there's some really great options in here. So I'm just going to look through some of these quickly. And then I can drag and drop and snap to the left corner, whichever video I choose. Okay, we're almost there. Now we really need to add a subscribe button to encourage our viewers to subscribe to our YouTube channel. So I just search for subscribe button in elements. Let me drag this one and see what it looks like. That one's not gonna work because it's transparent and we can't see it on this background. So I'm going to go for this more traditional looking one and drag and drop it to the position. That looks great. Let's look at audio quickly and how we can affect audio. Any element that has audio, you can click on and the toolbar at the top, if it has voice, will allow you to enhance the voice, extract the audio or change the volume. Often with my recorded voice, I need to increase it and with audio as in music, you have to really, really decrease it to not conflict with the voice parts. This is only on level four. I scroll back through. Now what I want to do is add animations and transitions. 
And as I mentioned before, it's a lot easier to do that when you're close to the end of the video because you can add it to everything. So if I click on an element and click animate and scroll up, it will say page or photo. I want to do it to the page and then it will do everything on the page that is a separate element that can be animated. Then I can try a couple of options and if I like it, I'll say apply to all pages. The same thing, if you click between scenes, you can click on the transition icon, try a couple of transitions, dissolve, slide, line wipe. I think I'm going to go with slide. Once you choose one that you like, scroll down and you can say apply between all pages. This saves you a lot of time. Now, if I go through, you can just quickly see transitions are happening between each scene. That's so much easier than doing it one by one. So the final thing to do once you've made your edits, your transitions and everything else is to just uh, download your file. Click on share, choose download, and if necessary, connect your YouTube account because otherwise you might have copyright issues with music. Canva Pro lets you license the music that you use. Thank you for tuning into this video. I hope that you found it useful. There's a lot that you can do with Canva and this is just a brief overview. So if you have any questions, please include them in the comments. And ta-ta for new.